Hey guys, it's Marco here, back once again from my color screen. If you truly enjoy customizing your Android phone, but really want it to truly stand out, well then check out today's video tutorial, where I'll be describing you how to recreate a truly amazing Android home screen. Let us begin. So today's video tutorial is on a fantastic looking home screen by the very popular my color screen legend Gary Art with his home screen titled Fluorescent. Well that fluorescent name truly stands out with as soon as you look at the screen with those very bold almost neon -y colors that stand out on that dark battery saving wallpaper. Now this two page setup is really unique in that just tapping one of the buttons jumps between the two pages giving you either your weather information or your time information and it does so with pure ease. And those two pages come with simple icons that are necessary for your daily use such as your email, your messages, your phone, as well as the other page that comes with your gallery, your file explorer, or your books, as well as your internet browser. So if you'd like to recreate this amazing looking home screen on your Android phone, let us begin with today's video tutorial. Okay, so before you begin, just a quick note that I'm using SS Launcher for this setup purely because I tried it on Nova Launcher as well as Apex Launcher and I couldn't get the grid sizes to fit very well, well the icons to fit as well as the skins all together. So I'm using SS Launcher just because I got a Nexus 4, but if you got a 720 by 1280 resolution such as for the S3, the Galaxy Note 2, as well as any other phones with that resolution, I highly recommend using Apex Launcher as this takes a little bit longer. So remember to download everything that you need that's included in the links below and let us begin with today's video tutorial. Great, so starting out with my very stock SS launcher, like I said, if you're using a Galaxy S3 or that same resolution, I highly recommend using Apex launcher with a nine by seven grid size and two home screens. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, and to hide the notification bar at the top. So let's start with our SS launcher settings. We're gonna be first dragging, getting, getting rid of all of our widgets. So just drag them into the bin. Great, once that's done, remember you're gonna be using the original SS Launcher or the paid version for this, just to get rid of these icon labels and a few other settings as well. So to get rid of these header labels, you just hold down on them and then you can get straight into it by scrolling down and selecting hide labels and then apply changes and they will now disappear. So remember just holding them down and hiding the labels. Next, we're gonna select the back button here or your menu and we're going to jump straight into our theme settings here. We're going to go into our animation. What's really cool about this and what Apex Launcher got rid of is that very quick animation scrolling effect. So if you just tap on the numbers and you can now change this to whatever you want. So a 10 is very, very quick and it looks really good. So for type, you can make it whatever you want, such as sliding. We can just leave it like that for now. And then remember to go apply changes. Next, you want to go back into your menu and then into your preferences where you'll be selecting the full screen. So you'll just enable that so that it gets rid of the notification bar. So we'll go back again and then back into the menu once again because you just need to add a new page that'll be your weather page. So you just select the plus bar there at the bottom and you want to type in whatever you call it just so you know what it is when you're selecting a jump to page. So I'm just going to call it weather for now. Make sure it's a cover page and select OK. It's at the bottom here, I don't really like that, so I'm gonna hold down on it and drag it so it goes all the way, just so it's one underneath the home button. You're also welcome to delete this hot applications. I sometimes do that just because I wanna get straight into my app drawer. So I'm just gonna select the little delete button here, which will just remove the hot page so you can jump straight into the apps page. Remember, if you're still a bit clueless on SS Launcher, check out our complete guide in the description below. Great, so that's all of our SS Launcher settings complete. We can jump back now and into our wallpaper. Awesome stuff. So for this wallpaper, you want to hold down on your home screen. You want to select wallpaper now. And I always like going for quick pick wallpaper. Remember to copy that folder onto your phone where you'll be able to select all of these. You want to be selecting the wallpaper that looks something like this and let's drag it down so you can get that bottom ring as well as the UCCW placement area here. So we're gonna be selecting the tick, it's gonna set up that wallpaper for you for both screens, easy like that. Great, so now we're ready for the icons that we'll be placing on each of these two screens. Great, so to add in an icon for Apex Launcher and SS Launcher, you're just going to your app drawer and then drag it, hold down and drag it onto your home screen here 
and to do it in SS Launcher, it's pretty much the same thing. I'm gonna swipe across to my app drawer, say if I want my Gmail icon here onto my first screen, I'm gonna hold down on it and then drag across. As you can see, it makes like a little green line to show that it's moving. So I think it's gonna be placed over there. The type of icon that I want it to look like is just a plain icon, no background. So I'm just gonna select it like that and it can be placed more or less over there. Just gonna tap away now and it is now being placed on your home screen, but you wanna change how it looks like. So in order to do that, we just need to hold down on the icon. You wanna be selecting your edit there and it'll bring up your editing menu here. From here, you wanna select your icon and then your icon again, and then you wanna select add an image. From here, you wanna select your quick pick, whatever gallery you want, and then just once or whatever. So remember, you wanna find that folder that you've copied onto your phone and that's the app symbol for mail or whatever. So you're gonna select it and then select that icon that you've just basically imported. Remember now you wanna scroll down and then apply changes, otherwise it will not save it for you. So doing that and you wanna select apply changes what, or apply settings, sorry, once again. It's gonna set it up for you just like that. And now you're welcome to resize it. So you're gonna hold down on it tap it you can get it move the little joystick to get it into a better position but now it's a little bit too big for the the little hole i guess for it so you just want to tap one of the sides which brings up your resizer arrow see brings it up like that so i'm just going to make it a little bit smaller i might have to do it one way or the other to see how it gets resized but once you get it in more or less the right size for it you just want to tap it again and then move it into the correct position great so there is one icon done or i highly recommend that you do the same thing for the rest of the icon say for phone as well as your messaging so like for messaging you just hold down and then drag it into that top corner over there and then change it to an icon and follow the same procedure so you tap away etc etc until you've done it for all four of these as well as all four of these as well but now one thing to take note of is that these are gonna be, these corner ones for both screens are gonna be your jump to icons for both pages. Great, so as you can see, I've added in all the icons for both pages. So all we have to do now is to add in the, well, the jump to icon for the one that'll be in the bottom corner for each one of these pages. Now to do that in SS Launcher, Nova Launcher, it's very easy. You just hold down on the home screen, select Nova or Apex Actions, and then jump to page and one or two according to what page you're on. However, if you're using SS Launcher, slightly different setup, you're gonna be holding down in that area, you wanna select new shortcut. From here, it's gonna bring out your type. So we wanna change that to a page. From here, you wanna select your target, and depending on what page you're on, you want it to jump to the other one. So say if I'm in home, I wanna to jump to weather. I'm gonna select weather and okay, it is done. From here, we wanna select style, and then you wanna go into your icon, and you're gonna do that same top, top setup we did for the other icons, where you'd be selecting icon, icon again, and then if you wanna to jump to your weather, you select the little weather sun like that. You wanna select apply settings, and apply settings once again, and it'll set it up for you nice and easy. All you have to do now is just resize it by tapping it, tapping the little sidebar, making it a little bit smaller and then dragging it into that correct position. As you can see, it even got little guides to help you out there. Great, so there is our icon set up like that to jump from page to page. But now if you wanna to jump to the app launcher, which is the one over here, then it's very, very simple. You wanna do it the exact same way. You wanna hold down at the little ring at the bottom here. You wanna select new shortcut. You wanna go into type again and you wanna select page once again. But this time around, you want your target to be the application home page like that you want to select okay now you want to select your style again just to be that plain icon but from now your icon you want it to be something different you want to select your icon you want it to be a blank png don't worry i'll provide one in the link below you want to select it now and apply changes and then apply changes well settings sorry once again just scroll it down into the bottom there and to test it out you can just tap that and it'll bring it straight to your app draw lightning fast so that's all the nitty gritty setup done. Now we just need to add in the UCCW widgets in the middles over here. So adding in a UCCW, very easy to do. You just need to hold down in the middle there. You wanna select new widget. You wanna scroll all the way down to that app called UCCW. And it doesn't really matter what size you go for, but let's just go for a two by two, just to be on the safe side. So we wanna now select use up at the top there as we'll be importing these skins. So for the clock one, obviously you'll just be selecting the fluorescent underscore clock just like that. It's gonna import it for you. 
you want to tap away now and then select that hand as it's going to make it show up hopefully. If not, if it shows a white box, remember to remove it and then select the UCCW skin in your UCCW list that's got all of your thousands of skins that you've added. So you just want to resize it now by dragging those handles just like that. Now also what you want to do, you want to tap away, you want to hold down on it and you want to select to back so it sends it behind these icons just like that. So you want to now do the exact same for the weather UCCW skin over here following the exact same procedure. So there we have pretty much our home screen complete. You can just check it out by double tap or tapping from one page to the other and it looks really good, really fast. So there we have our home screen complete. I hope you've enjoyed it guys. Thank you very much guys for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our brilliant My Color Screen channel, please do so as well as like and comment on what you think of the video. So thank you very much guys for watching. Marco here from My Color Screen and as always, don't stop customizing.